this fragrance right here is a fragrance that I hold near and dear to my heart. I've had it for around about eight months or so, eight to ten months or so. And it was love at first whiff. And this is Paco Rabanne One Million Privé. Sadly, this has been discontinued. So the pain of trying to restock and rebuy this has been real in my life. Um, it is a warm tobacco cinnamon spicy type of uh, scent you know nothing like the original one million Paco Rabanne one million uh, but it's a flanker of that line obviously and the f when I bought this um, I was tasting a lot of uh, fragrances and the one I smelt before this was uh, Paco Rabanne Lucky one million Lucky I didn't like that at first but this one, as soon as it hit my nose, um, I knew I'm taking this one, you know. Um, it is a beautiful cinnamon, tobacco, amber, woody, warm, spicy type of scent. It is an EDP uh, concentration and uh, the perfumer on this is Christophe Renard. Um, and it was released in 2016 and was discontinued February 2022 this year, if I remember correctly. So that was very sad, you know, as I was enjoying this and I, as I was planning to buy myself a backup bottle of this, you know, I heard the terrible news that it had been discontinued. So um the sad that's the sad news but you know um, as you can see it is a fragrance that is very well worn um i really really enjoy this and as the juice level goes down um you know my heart breaks um but you know it is something that i will hold near and dear to my heart and if i ever you know get an opportunity to buy myself a backup bottle I will do but obviously not at a ridiculous price um, the notes on this very simple cinnamon and blood mandarin at the top tobacco and mirror in the middle and then tonka bean and patchouli at the, the base so it's a very cinnamony tobacco you know woody type of uh, you know scent um very very enjoyable nothing like anything from the one million um uh, range of fragrances um as you may well know the one million uh, range uh, from Paco Robert, you know started with the original one million um there was lucky there was cologne there was perform and then the latest elixir which is probably the one i'll be getting next it's very very good i don't quite get the the, the notes what they are but that blend just goes well it's very modern it's very much today it's probably one of those that will get you lots and lots of compliments you know similar to this so this i would you know you know class it as an evening type of special occasion type of scent but if you've got enough of it wear it every day enjoy it and you know that's the joys of of, of, of fragrances you know if you love something Wear it every day. It doesn't matter what season, what time of the day, where you're going, what you're doing. Enjoy it. And this is one of those that I'd call that. Obviously, pricing on this uh, ridiculous if you're going to be going online, trying to buy it from other people. Uh, these prices are very scary because people know how good this is and how many people want to, to ha grab a bottle of this. So the prices will be ridiculously high. Um, the reason why, you know, fragrances, fragrance houses uh, discontinue, you know, especially what some of us would, uh, you know, would deem as very good fragrances are many, you know, um, sometimes it's a case of maybe there's a particular ingredient that may be in short supply, you know, due to COVID that may ha has happened with uh, various, um, you know, fragrances. And sometimes it's, it's practically just making space for two or three other, you know, uh, fragrances in the range. So maybe this might not have been such a great seller, you know in terms of the mass market you know people might have still been enjoying the original uh, 1 million um Paco about 1 million and this might have just fallen in there somewhere but not really picked up as much as some of us who love it would think but and then the fragrance house would just decide you know what 
let's cut this off you know so that might be the case but you know in conclusion a great scent um sadly discontinued um if i ever get my hands on a backup bottle i will do and yeah that's it for today please like and subscribe the video until uh, next time cheers my fragrance journey essay ciao